This week's proud sponsor of the Roundup is the Graham Ramage Football Academy. Based in Dumbarton, they provide over 100 one-to-one football coaching sessions a week. They do small group sessions and team sessions provided. SFAC licensed coaching badge holder. They provide coaching from five years upwards for boys and girls catering to all levels of abilities. Hope you enjoy the episode. Thank you. Alright everybody, welcome to episode 29 of the Roundup. League title decided yesterday, Ashfield got a clean sheet. Almost everybody in the top five in the Premier League didn't they, drop points. What what a weekend it was. Mate, some weekend, some weekend mate, honestly. So, Shows your award. Loads to talk about today and I'm much fresher and I'm ready to rock. Shows your award. Mate. Tell the people what it's for. Your dinner. Mate, this is it, Albert Murray Memorial Trophy. Ashfield Day, this trophy, Albert. Albert was a committee member at Ashfield for so for his full life, basically. He gave so much time up to the club and sadly passed away. So for the last four or five years, the club gave that as a special recognition award to somebody every year, mate. And I was lucky enough, mate, to be presented the award last night at our presentation night, mate. So Absolute buzzing, mate. It means the world to us. Um, uh, mate, I'm not going to lie, mate. I got heavy emotional last night. <laughs> I was I was literally, I was close to tears. It's the first time I've ever been silent. I couldn't really say much. Taking aback back with it. So, can I thank the club enough? I assure you, man, what a club. Been. Good night last night. Presentation night went really well. Deserved winners in the night. Got their awards and stuff. But for me to get that, mate, I'm just... It means so much to the club and it means a lot to me personally, man. So don't date for special recognition day because we love doing it and it's all about the players. But to get that last night, mate, was was lovely, mate. It's nice and on the cake, mate, for, for me to finish my, my full year at the club. It was nice, nice wee touch. Brilliant, mate. Right, let's get on to the, the soccer yes. ball. Right, in the Premier League, Blanta 1, Cohen 1, Darvo 0, Claybank 3, Glen Afton 0, Glencairn 2, Hurlford 1, Cumbernauld 0, Rob Roy 4, Bede 2, Largs 1, Talbot 1, Pollock 0, Meda 1, Troon 2, Colburnie 0. Um, I think we'll start on Darvo and Claybank. What a result for Claybank. Darvo, the boat, they must just be absolutely bust. The amount of games they've had to play, even though the, the Talbot game was called off. They must be absolutely shattered the new and Clyde Bank apparently could have won by more. Yeah. Yeah. Um Clyde Bank, listen, it's Clyde Bank have probably had that coming, a right big result, because they've no they've not quite been filing all cylinders for a wee while. So it doesn't surprise me really because we've been doing a few Clyde Bank games and we know a lot of the boys down there and and Moff and Gaz and all the boys in the background to uh, Drew and Kirky and stuff and Phil and they're a very good side and they're very, very capable. We've seen it in the big Scottish Cup ties when it comes to the big occasion and the big game. They're the big game players down there. And, nah, definitely. And, I think it's, um, like you said, they've probably had this coming. Nah, to be fair, see when they play the the higher up teams, like they've drawn with Darvo and beat Darvo, they drew with the Talbot in the opening day, they've pushed Paul up close. It's... They do seem to get the results. Can I think? I think they beat Colin in as well. So it's it's the way it is. That they're, they're a good, good big game. So I think once they add a bit more quality next season, you could be looking at Clyde Bank being a, a right challenger for the title. Even though they're sitting fourth in it, still a decent season for them. Um, I think I think it's just to just hang me from off in that. It's, it's the games that probably know that they and themselves would have expected, but everybody would have expected them to pick up points of kind of that points, and that's kind of summed up their season. But Brilliant result. I think Darvo is just, they've had a couple of in, in, their injuries on the day, which isn't going to help Mick and the team. And I think they're just maybe just running on empty because, as you say, PG, it's, it's a lot of games for the boys. And when you weigh everything up and the demands of it, and Clyde Bank are in a wee bit fresher and stuff, and know the game, they've had training all week and no can, no had as many games to play in the weeks and that. It's maybe just caught up with Darvo a wee bit. But listen, Mick and these boys are more than capable of bouncing back, mate. And the best thing for them is the team's up the top that points as well. Well, that's the thing. Um, Darvo have lost two of their last six after like 
I think it was the one thirteen or something on the bounce, something stupid like that. Yeah. But like you said, the teams about them are losing. I mean, Pollock have only won one at the last six, lost four and drawn one. They're in a right bad spell. And you look at it now, see if they'd won yesterday, maybe one other game out of these yeah. six. You're like my Pollock got a right good shot of win this because they'd have maybe been four points clear, but yeah. they've had a oh, bad wee run losing oh. to Medamax. My old man was doing it the the Pollock and Meda game yesterday. Oh, right, was he? They said Pollock were actually decent. Um, said the Meda were very fit, stifled them, didn't let them play their game. Uh, so he said he said he quite enjoyed it. He said the crowd was good as well with it. Um, Largs, who have seemed to have started to turn it around as well, managing to get a draw at Talbot. It's good in a sense for us being neutrals, where it's going to be so interesting. I mean, five, six games to go and the tap teams are all dropping points, the bottom teams are all picking up points. Yeah. Proper interest in the Premier League. Aye, I think I think with Paul, I think they've they just had a wee I don't know, I don't know if they think when they lost the games maybe to Dalva the uh, Darvo and Talbot a wee while ago that they thought that some of the players maybe I don't know started switching off, but it just showed you, man, that the opportunity was still there for them because teams are dropping points. But I send credit to Meda because Meda have been conceding goals of late and they've been they've been no picking up, they've not been picking up the wins and results. And for them to go down there and keep a clean sheet and win the game one nil is, is a brilliant result for them. So well done to Meda. Largs, brilliant four points, four points in the last two games. Yep. Uh, gone to Talbot, it's obviously a place Arnie knows really well and. Listen, every point, every point could be crucial at this moment in time for Largs. So for Largs to go there, put a wee dent, a wee dent in the in the Talbot's uh, title pursuit, then it's very, very interesting, mate. And and you still see all the teams are still in that pack, and there'll be plenty of their twists and turns as they go along because there's still a lot of football to be played. I think we we Largs actually are talking about picking up points. Do all matter. <clears throat> that's a point they probably wouldn't have expected to get so because yeah. you know what it's like you maybe look at games three or four games ahead and right out there four games you could pick up five six points that's one of the ones you probably don't think you're going to get in so the fact that they've picked up the point it's huge see for Larks table just quick just before you move on it's like the big one for me as a character they've been 1-0 down at Talbot and so a lot of teams it's very difficult see when you go 1-0 down there and then they just start steamrolling you and they just overpower you and, and then you end up losing the game 2, 3, sometimes even 4 um, so for them to eh, be resolute stay in the game and be 1-0 down and get themselves back in the game and take a point it's a, it's a lot of credit deserved for the boys you know what I mean? I know exactly we're looking at the league table say we assume like that Seven go down, even though there's a chance that six will go down. Um, Bonnet and are relegated. Um, Blantyre are relegated now, and Ross Vale are technically no relegated, but on goal difference, they they basically can they can stay up. Um, so that's three gone. Come on, also have a chance, but again, I think it's quite unlikely that they'll stay up. And then you're looking at Coburnley as well. Two games to go. They're pretty much gone as well. They need Aye, they think, need Roy and Largs to lose every one of their games and yeah. then win the last two. So you're looking like it's you've got that wee pack with Glen Kern, Glen Afton, Rob Roy, and Largs all fighting out, fighting out to see who can avoid the sixth and seventh bottom spots. Um, we mentioned to Glen Kern yesterday. We've actually we've spoken quite a bit about how poor run a form they're on, and Glen Afton who'd picked up a thirteen out of fifteen since Ryan Stevenson and Mark Roberts had come in. That was massive for Glen Cairn winning that game yesterday. It's if they lose that, I think they are buying in trouble. Great, great result. And let's be honest, for for most days, if you were to go on form and form alone, most people would have been fancying Glen Cairn, eh, sorry, Glen Afton, especially we've been at home. He won the game. So Glen Cairn to get down there shows showing that probably character and performance that they were getting earlier in the season. It's a massive result, especially with Kirky Rob Roy winning and all against Beef. Mm-hmm. And so it just brings that that free, that free way pack of them. They're all, they're all very, very tight. So what a result for them. Hats after them because they've had a tough wee time yet. They took a wee bit of a down through the week against Arthurley. I know they were doing to the bare bones in the cup game against Arthurley, but Arthurley have given them a wee bit of a down there. But for them to bounce back, the league's the most important thing for them. They've took three points. 
and a team, we a team that's running about with them. They've kept a clean sheet, gives them something to build on. So well done to Clinker. Aye, really well done. Um, Rob Roy, I think they were four 0 up on Bead. Aye. Um, well, at the stage you know because it's uh, half ten in the morning. Um, because Dak's busy schedule, we had to slip this in nice and early. Yeah, I know. Morning. I've got a wedding today, right? And I've got a wedding on Monday, mate. I've, got, I've literally, mate, this is non stop now, mate. Now, who gets married on a Monday? Be fair, one of those, my lots get married on a Monday. So I've I know, mate. I've got my family wedding today, all day, and a fucking all day shot on Monday, I know. I know, mate. I'm like a bus boy. I was up to two editing the, the vlog last night. I feel like I just got to sleep. But no seeing any highlights. That's where I was going with it. Um, I believe Rob Roy were four, two up. Uh, sorry, 4 nil up and then Beath pulled it back. Could have been Mare in the first yeah. half, from what I was told. That's nine goals they've scored against two good teams in the last two weeks. They're yeah. absolutely flying the new. And aye, aye, it's like, like, that's 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 two great that's two great results they've had back to back when you're playing Beave and Meda. It's very difficult and you're thinking to yourself, can we take something out of the game? So for them to take six points out of that and, and put them in a really, really good, strong position, the confidence will be high in the dressing room. They're scoring goals for fun. Aye, they're conceding and they'll not want to concede and maybe give teams a sniff and let them back into games. But if you're scoring goals, mate, you've always got a chance. And my boy, we Ben Daly, mate, and our two goals yesterday, doing really well, mate. He was at our presentation night last night, so it was good to see him. Aye. Coming and showing face with his missus and that, and doing very well, mate. Doing very well, Rob Roy. Well, see, looking at it, we've always said that <coughs> be the safe. Um, they've got three games in hand on the bends. They're only a point behind. They're only two points behind um, the Meda and a couple of points behind Troon with games in hand. But Rob Roy are sitting <coughs> three games in hand on Bead, seven points behind them. I mean, that's you're looking at the potential of Beath, potent, um, not really getting drawn into it, but it could get a bit nervy if they, they lose a couple more games. I think we, we, we know Butch well, do you know what I mean? And, and we know a lot of the boys down there. And I still don't think they're going to get sucked into it, but the more you, the more you say that, you don't want that complacency to say it. And I know, that, I know that Butch will not allow that at his club because he's a very, very good young manager. I think that. They need maybe just one or two wins now just to finish the season right. off and, and and just take just to take take even the the slight chance away that they could get sucked into that relegation zone. Just they just need they need a wee result, you know what I mean? They need a wee result and they'll just be looking to get one as soon as possible. Aye, definitely. Um Huddleford back to winning ways. Uh, sorry, continuing their winning ways uh, against Cumbernauld, which Cumbernauld really don't need. Like I said, they're mathematically nowhere near out of it, but on form, you can't kind of see them getting back for where they are the now um, with a 1-0 defeat. And I mentioned to Blantyre, who we've seen it a lot recently. It's a shame it's two lakes are already gone, but they've turned up a wee bit in the last kind of maybe four yeah. or five weeks, so they're picking up some good points. 100%. 100%. I said I, I don't know in house how that is, but it's brilliant for Gibby, mate. I'm 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 happy for Gibby because they've no they've not done a lot of shout about all season and 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 albeit they might be relegated, it's a it's a good way for them to finish and it's just showing that the boys can compete at that level, albeit it's just a wee bit too late. But they've probably had to deal with different si- situations and circumstances yeah. throughout the season, but um so listen, they've done really well over the last few weeks, man. They're, they're, they've, they've created accounts to themselves. They've picked up points as well. And on Hurlford, mate, Hurlford have done brilliant under Hendel, mate. What a joke he's done in there. Um, oh, done brilliant, mate. Finish it up. Troon beating Coburnley. I think Coburnley effectively ended their season last week with a defeat to Largs. Yeah. But um, I think that Tommy, Sean and Owen have done a, a really good job they've come in there they've kind of rebuilt the team a bit <coughs> they, they gave them the supporters something to, to look forward to with the way they were going so I think it's a shame that it looks like it's it's all but done for them but they gave themselves a good account um, next I season that, I imagine they'll be one of the top teams in that first division as well I think you're buying on what you're saying mate. I think that they've gave even though they've got, they're, they're going to get relegated but it looks yeah, I think that They've gave the feel good factor back to the club, and I think that the, the fans and the committee and I've got a lot of confidence in the management team because they've definitely 
gave an upturn and the, the performances are much better, the results have been much better. It was just a ma it was a massive mountain to climb and they've just not had enough just to get them get them out of it. But what you can't deny is it is that they've not done really well. If you look at their points ratio, it's been brilliant since they've went in there. Um, but on Troon, on Troon, that just sums up Troon season. Very, very good season. Very, very steady. Just looking to go up the way. It's a brilliant result for the for the Troon boys 2-0. Because what you know about Coburn is they're never going to gear up until it's mathematically done. So it's never, it's never an easy game. So excellent result for Troon. 2-0, clean sheet. Dino will be delighted with that. Gaffer, Dino will be delighted with that. <laughs> Mel's going to crack that joke. Yeah, don't talk about what Jimmy. Jimmy's run a good ship down there, right? Don't you? Jimmy, start, Jimmy, start, Jimmy start just held the club together for. Jimmy's held the club together forever, mate. You're calling Dino the manager, <laughs> mate. It's because Dean's a poster boy. Um, <laughs> Moving on to Conference A, Bells Hill nil, fourth one, Muircourt two, Craig Mart two, the Borough two, Shots one, Whitlitz one, Arthurley two. We um, we made a wee mistake last week um, yeah. when we said that Arthurley were one, one away if we win the league. Even Jordan, who does our graphics, made the same mistake as is when they sent me the, uh, the graphic and I was like, ah, that's spot on there, one, one away. Um, so it's a 30 game season, but they are officially one, one away if we win in the league. Um it slipped my mind completely who they're playing next week. Who they is it Mabel? I don't know, mate. I think it's Mabel next next or two weeks, something like that. I don't know when whenever it is they play them. Um another two one one against Whitlets. Whitlets are a tough side for Arthley. Pushed them close every time they've played. Yeah. But a massive one Arthley keep going. That's 25 games, 23 wins, two draws, and zero defeats. We could be looking at an invincible season. Incredible. Uh, listen, that that the the priority will be winning the league. But when you do win the league, and when they when they do win the league, which is going to is going to happen, then that would be what an achievement that would be, especially with some of the teams in that league. I think yesterday was massive, right? Albeit the shots have been beat half the borough. I think that after they went one 0 down. And then they've come back and shown their character, which they've basically shown all season. Right. And they've ended up winning the game 2 1. So Gary Carroll with the winner with a penalty. Um, so you can't say enough good things about Arthur in the season that they've had. They've, they've been smashing the results out in the league. If they're a lot to contend with, with cup ties and stuff like that, they're still in cup competitions as well. They're unbeaten in the league. They're going to be deservedly champions. They're not going to admit it yet because. They're professional in that way, but they're nearly there, and then they can enjoy the party. And knowing a few of the boys down there, mate, they'll have a good party. But <laughs> it looks, it's just a matter of time. And the next one is the one that will probably be hoping to get it done sooner rather than later, because the merit is only the anxiousness can kick in. So the first possible opportunity they get to do it, I, I fully expect them to do so. I would think so. Yeah. Uh, but I've beaten shots 2-1. I think that Jamie McKim and his team have been tremendous the second half of the season. I mean, they had that really tough start, but the second half of the season, they've been absolutely flying. The fact that they've got themselves in a position where they're two points behind um, Whitlitz to get that third place, where Whitlitz looked like they had that sewn up quite a while back, is something else. That's going to be... That tap kind of went three down to six with Whitlitz, the Borough, Mabel and Craig Mark. See, maybe one she could maybe put fourth into that, then, um, but they're probably just too far back. I'm oh, sorry, fourth can't be there, no enough games. It's so tight between the three of them. Um, mm-hmm. that's a good wee, that's a, that's a good wee, uh, that's a good bunch of battle, it? mate. It's a good battle. And to be honest, we were Johnston, but I were probably 10 games into the season. People were probably writing them off, and there was talk of Jamie going to our club and stuff. and Fair play to him, man. He's just kept working at it and kept getting the boys going. And the consistency levels at the borough are showing. They've turned in top performances. They're getting top results. You're fully expecting them to win games now. And I think that they're definitely in the driving seat to be finishing that top four. And for, for Jamie and that and the boys there and the committee, that'll be a great achievement. And it'll, again, I think that'll be like a promo- that'll be another promotion for them. Mm-hmm. That'll be back to back for Jamie winning. Winning the league when we were in the league with him and then our promotion. So he's done a great job there. And, and 
and I'm glad that they've done it at all. I think that the coach's dad, Ryan Muldoon, I think his father passed away, and I think mm-hmm. he was a big supporter yeah. of the club, and I think that they've done a minute's applause and that for him, and it's really fitting that the boys turned in a big performance against arguably the second best side in the league, one of the best sides in the league, and they've turned in a big performance and a big result for him, so it's nice to see, and, and, and we wish him and his family the best. Definitely, definitely. Um well, it's the Borough, Mabel and Craig Mark. They are four fighting out for the remaining two spots. Well, it's have one game left. They've got 56 points. The Borough have got one game left. They've got 54 points. Mabel have got one game left, 52 points. Craig Mark have got two games left with 51 points. So you're really looking at any of the, any of the four of them could be going up. And I think, I think maybe Whitlitz wouldn't be, but I think the rest of them would all be promotions as well. Aye, it'll be interesting to see who they're all playing. Probably don't know off hand who they've all who they're being. Check to have a look and see if I can find it. Um, it's a good battle, mate. Very aye, good definitely. battle. Definitely, it's four <coughs> four teams who have done really well. Um, Craig Mark will obviously be disappointed, but for me, Muirkirk, we've mentioned them the last couple of weeks, beating Mabel, um, drawn with Craig Mark. I can't remember who it was they beat the other week there. That was a really good result as well. Um, that's some wee turnaround they've had. They're looking like they're back no, to the uni. form. Aye, they beat the uni. They're back to the form that they had right at the start of the season um, when they were kind of yeah. surprising everybody. Yeah, they were, they were doing very well at the start. And the, the big thing was they didn't, they didn't play a lot of football for a long time, so that's how you start dropping down the league as well. But for Kevin and his team, they've, they've, they've really they've really got gone and out and probably the end of the season's coming at the worst time for them because they're, they're, they're hitting good form. But... It's good as well because some teams have not got much to play for and, and, and they're looking to keep climbing the league and that and they've got that motivation there. So no, they've done they've done very well with your your cut and I think it Kev's done a good job there as well, mate. Right, mate. We have next Saturday we have Whitlets against Craig Mark. Yeah, well that's that's massive, isn't it? Well, that's yeah. gonna be that'll be that'll have a big saying for who's finishing well in there, that league, not me. I know that'll be a beauty. Um Craig Mark also have fourth left to play. Uh, that's tough games that's two tough uh, games two, two, two games that. right the team's right about them they take six out of that they deserve to be in the top four 100% um, I can't uh, Mary Hill I've got shots to play so they're yeah. I suppose they're out of it they're out of it anyway uh, I'm end up going through to me uh-huh. the Burroughs last game is in three weeks time against Muirkirk so that's another tough game another tough game ah, it's tough but the other two teams will know each other and played against each other and stuff. So, like, listen, we'll just need to have, have a look at the next weekend. That's the worst day, man. We're similar situation. The next game's known for like two, three weeks down the line. And I think it's, it's not bad. It. I know. Um, moving on to Conference B, Dorai 2, Glen Cairn 1. Eh, sorry, Gart Cairn. Gart Cairn. Sorry, my apologies. Um, Canvas Lang 2, Thornywood 1, New Mains 0, Ashfield 3, St. Caddox 4. Kelo now a three 0 mate. User up to sixth in the league. User um hitting a good wee bit of form. User user on our team. User had a really really solid second half of the season. I know you have lost a few games recently, but overall for maybe November December, user had a really strong kind of finish to the season. Listen, listen, PG mate. That like we we got promotion right now. Everybody was sitting going, oh, they got promotion, bro. We were looking at it in house and saying to the boys, let's try and push and get that six, tap six. You know what I mean? That would be. And if you look at some of the teams that we could finish above and and, and the opportunities there to do that, and that, as I said, it's only an opportunity. It's not. A, it's not a done deal. Then if we were to finish ahead of the likes of Greenock and Ardeer and Glasgow United, teams that I've a lot of people have been saying have been, had really good seasons. So what would it, what would it say about us, our season? But I say we've got one game left against Fornywood. We're sitting in sixth place and we'll all be on goal difference. We've done brilliant. The boys have done amazing. All the credit must go to the players. They've been absolutely outstanding. Comfortable, comfortable yesterday. We McManus getting a double. Boys on flames, man. Absolute flying. Threw young boys in. Threw three boys for the 20s were in playing as well. They played in midweek against coming up my friendly and they done really well. So the gaffer, gaffer threw them in. It's been a it's been a really good season. I think that we've been a bit disappointed at times and we've had our wee tough moments. But I think that 
know enough said about how well Maxi's done as a manager at the club. I think that the job he's done with limited, with limited resources, like some of the other clubs, I think that the calibre of player he's brought in has been very good. Don't get me wrong, we conceded far too many goals, but we've been a good watch while he's been in charge. Right. Score hundreds of goals, mate, but we conceded, and it's good for people to the neutral and that to watch. But if we could finish in sixth place, I would be delighted with that, mate. I think it would be, I think it would be a very, very solid season, and we'd be finishing above a lot of good teams there. But I think we could still finish a couple of places doing it. It's no. It's not done, but... See, team... for me, I'd say you had a quite a poor start to the season from what I expected personally, because obviously I, I, I think I said these, I think I said that you would be top um, seven, um, and he's had quite a poor start. He's maybe sitting 10th or 11th, and it wasn't good enough, um, if I'm being completely honest. But he's have shown, I think you are as high up as you really could have been when you look at the teams above you. You don't have the budget to go and match these teams I think that sixth place would be. I think that would be as good as you could have expected this year. I think that would be an excellent season, and it's a real, a real good. Who's your last game against? Yeah, for only with me. A hard one to finish, but to oh, be honest, me. it's. Um, I'd say that it's been a very, very good season for you. I think. I think that it's been a it's been a good season, and we've had a we've had a few things to the deal with through the season. We've lost quite a few players. We've lost three or four players to teams in the, the top league. And, and I think, to be honest, we've been a better side when our numbers have been good. <laughs> We've been brilliant. They're all in it together. Um, close, close, close in that group. Do you know what I mean? See, when we're doing, we're literally doing about 13, 13, 14 actual senior players and then the rest has been young boys that we've had in. So, and the young boys have been excellent, man. We, Nikki Dixon up front has been excellent. We, Greg Chalmers, outstanding. Um, so there's a lot of positives there, mate. So um, we've got one more game to go. It's against Fournewood. Don't get me wrong. They've shown they're probably in similar resources to what we've got. And look at what they've done this season. has been unbelievable. Right. So showing it can be done. So that's why we've got a wee bit of disappointment. We've not done that wee bit better. But that's just your, your self-motivation. That's, you you know? need that though, don't you? Aye, but if we can finish in the top six, it's a big motivation. We've got one game to go, and it's in our it's in our it's in our runs, basically. If we can if we can go and win our last game, then nothing not else matters. We don't need definitely that. Been a, a really really good season. Um, Dorai beating Gartcairn two one. I know Gartcairn. Well, I suppose Gartcairn were well, all they needed was a point to get second place, and um, Dorai a great run of form. That's four at the last five of one. Mm-hmm. They're having a great run. I mean, it's a, it's a shame that the season's finishing for them. I mean, the third bottom with twenty one points, but they've picked up thirteen points in the last six games. Aye, come into the season for them, and we we've championed Chris and his team a bit. Um, yeah, after a horrible, horrible start, but really good finish to the season for them. Great, great result. I think season. I think the the tear hats after them, and I think. We have said that. I think we've said everything that really needs to be said about them. But what one thing is that's a brilliant result for them yesterday. I think that that they'll be in a better place next season. I think the way they finished the season, they've probably got a really good chance of keeping all their players and their best players. And if Chris adds another couple of bits of quality that then they'll be a good force in the league that they're in next year. And I fully expect them to do really well. So what a brilliant result for them, and that means that St. Carrick's finished second, doesn't it? Cadillac's finished second. Yeah, they won 4-0. Yep, they won 4-0. Um, good result for them. Canvas Land Trophy Day. An excellent uh, excellent finish for them. <coughs> it's been a great season for them. Isn't it? I mean, they've they dropped eight points all season. It's uh, 84 points. They've, they've come away with 76. Scored 114 oh. goals, conceded 21. It's been an incredible season. We've praised them so many mm. times. Yeah. Beating Thornywood as well, 2 1, who's again another really good side. So, um, um, massive well done to them. Aye, because they, they're in good form and they've got momentum. And, and I know Nizzy and Dolce wanted to finish probably in second, I think. Aye, aye, aye good have aye. And, and, and I think that. Canvas Lang would have had a really good day. It was a nice day, and all. Otherwise, it was a lovely day for them. Hello. Mommy needs Sorry. to come. Mommy needs to go. Mommy's going to get her makeup done. Mommy needs to come in here. Right, okay. Hi, Marnie. You saying hi to PG? Hiya. Listen, 
Let's do baby Ash. Baby Ash, right. You go in there, Ben, in a wee minute, okay, honey? I'll just finish this up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Canvas Lambert had a brilliant day yesterday. The sun was shining. They've, they've won the game. They've got their trophy, deservedly so. Champions of the conference. They were the top team. Loved it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> That's in birthday girl. You get out. You've had a birthday week. It's daddy's turn. <laughs> She's a uh, and what's quite fitting, I think, as well, is John Gamble's got the you're not coming in here. John Gamble's got the last goal. And uh, that was the one. And I think he's saying that he's out. Come here, do you want to come in and stop carrying on so I can do this? Come here. Right. Let's <laughs> let's move on to conference C. Get you Aye. get you all sorted. Um, don't want Jill giving you a hard time. No, but no, it, she's got to get her makeup done, PG. <laughs> Marnie, did you have a good birthday party yesterday? Oh, you look yeah. lovely in your pictures. Right, Conference C, East Kilbride 3, Vela leaving 1, Coastside 0, Vela Clyde 2, Peters Hill 3, Perthshire 1, Yoker 1, Wishaw 1. Game of the day yesterday, Peters Hill well deserved their, their victory. Yeah. Didn't they? Um, we're not top of the league at any point until the last five minutes of the season. Uh, yeah, that's not even. I, I didn't even. I didn't even pure realise that stat until I seen a lot of their players on Twitter giving it, giving it large and 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 putting a few wee, a few wee uh, fish hooks out. Ah, uh, we. Couple of digs out, uh, <laughs> mate. It's an unbelievable season. See, to be fair, um, I missed the first goal because I've tried to set up because it happened so quickly. Um, B Massa, who was Persia's best player for me is just a right handful Ross McCabe had a bit oh, of a difficult day with him well, mate. Um, he did really well yesterday I mean I remember him being in my back pocket when we beat them with the ants at the rock but that's for another time he was just a young boy then um, <laughs> he was really good yesterday but Persia went with a game plan to upset and hey, see you later Peter Hill Peter Hill were um, very deserved of a bit it looked like it was going to be a bit a bit iffy at the end. Um, they were getting a bit frustrated with each other, but they created enough chances to win the game out of sight. And then Ross McCabe showing some set of stones at that time to go and bang in a penalty. So well done to the big man and well done to Peter Sillon. Thank you very much for the smashing hospitality yesterday as well. See, see the big thing for me, PG, is um, Peter Sillon deserve so much, so much credit for the job that they've done, Lockie and the backroom staff, but especially the players churning out the results, putting that that run of results together. As you say, they've constantly been chasing the pressure's constantly been there for them to stay on the tail of the drum and then Nielsen at points as well. And and for their players to keep doing it week in, week out, getting the results is 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 amazing for them. I think that it's been tough. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where you are throughout the season, it's where you finish. Um, I'm gutted. I'm, 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 I'm. I know we're hoping that will be disappointed and gutted for them. They've had a really good season and the pep tone goal difference. It's a tough way to lose it. Do you know what I love? But I love what I love is a neutral. I love that Big McCabe got the winner right because he had to get through a lot in his career, especially yeah. at the start of his career. And I think it's fitting that the captain of the club he scores the winning goal, the winning goal to win the league, and then. Um, he deserves that day because a lot of people know what, what he's had to deal with when he was in younger days at Hamilton and that. So I think towards the end of his career, what a way to finish it and one of the memories that will be with him the rest of his life. So well done to him and getting his horns in the trophy and the Peter's Hill. Uh, Peter's well, Hill people will be delighted. There'll be a few sore heads a day. Uh, they look like they're enjoying themselves. There'll be, there'll, be, there'll be more Twitter spats, but see when they're lying in their bed and, and you've, 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 you've pissed your own bed, mate. And, and your fear's you're, kicking in something terrible. But, you, but, you've, but you've got a winner's medal on, mate. It does not matter a jot. See, for me, like Owen Ross McCabe, I'm the same age as Ross. I grew up playing against them basically if we were like 10 year old. I was actually at Clyde at the time when him and Dougie Emery had the thing um, with Clyde against Hamilton and Ross had the accident. And to be honest, talking to him yesterday, I felt delighted for him. He just he looked dead happy and it was it was it was a big boss moment to step up with that and, and score a penalty to win. He's been league. doing that all season, PG. He's chipped in with big, big goals and, and I know that the likes of Doc and Sweeney and stuff who maybe score the goals and, and that they get the plaudits and, and rightly so. But 
guys like McCabe and Karen done all that with their experience and we hadn't seen in the middle of the part that was injured yesterday yeah. and that as well. Whatever well, yeah, well, we mentioned the uh, we mentioned the Anthony for going full kit wanker as well after the game. I seen that mate. He's <laughs> obviously John Terry up into me back today. But listen, he's played nearly every game up until then when he's got a bad in, I think he got an injury last week or something. So Aye. amazing to Peter's Hall. Congratulations to Rocky, congratulations to the committee. Very well done to them. It was a great achievement in the toughest conference as well, which we, I don't think many people would argue with. My phone. Your phone, go and get it. Um, I think that they're, they're running results, mate. It doesn't matter what level of football you're at, is is amazing. They've got a Scottish Cup semi final or not to look forward to. It's looking Definitely. good. It's easy. Looking good. I know it's one that we'll really fancy. Um, so well done to Lockie, all the players. Or the committee or the fans at Peter's Hill, excellent, and I appreciate um hospitality yesterday. Thanks for just, looking after my boy, yeah. Just uh, just due to time, we'll move on to division four Campbelltown two, Glenville one, Hart Hill nil, um, Harmony Row three, three. Um, that's pretty much that league all finished. Same with conference, it's a, what a couple of teams have got a couple of games left, and that's it finished. Yeah. Uh, Harmony Row have secured third spot, well deserved. Um, well done to them Campbelltown had a good wee end to the season winning two of the last four and getting a draw and a defeat um, aye, the league's kind of been done for weeks now the with the not winning it but well yeah. done to all the the turn their own BSC that's the last game of the season but well done to everybody in Division 4 well done to Campbelltown aye, well done to Campbelltown just for everybody making it this season through this season and really well done It's I think it's been a good league and it was quite exciting yeah. for, for a spell it's a good league. It's been very, it's been a very good league. And congrats again to Fnatic winning that first yep. Division Four. I think it's going to be a much better. I think it'll be even better next season. I think teams will get business done in the summer, and they'll, they'll get they'll make improvements there. So I think it's going to be very good. So, Are you got a phone there, Manny? This lassie is if I've not has spent enough time there this week. I've literally she's not left my sight. She's had parties. We've been to CBB's land, and yet she just constant me. No, I tell <laughs> you what. See when we you love hanging about with your daddy, don't you? <laughs> see, to be fair, see when uh, we were four. I mean, I like she gets to go to CBB's as a party. Now, see back in the day when we were four, and they kind of. Uh-huh. The early nineties, not that your mom died, but that. oh, is it your is it your birthday today? Right? Okay, ah, cool. yeah, yeah, you go. Yeah, 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 an old mole master going kick it against that. Wall, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Take your brother with you, right? But apologies that the vegans had to come in. Miss oh, no. Mrs. Dax away getting herself all pampered for the wedding. I think everybody um, knows. Everybody knows we're busy men. We work family football <laughs> podcast, so um, sometimes the queens come in. It's part and parcel. Yeah. Hey, so, Marnie, you going to be a good girl today? There's PG speaking to you. Right? Yeah. You have fun, and we'll see you later. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, thanks. Thanks for watching again. Who's the sponsor? No, 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 no. I'm going to do a voiceover, man. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm going to do a voiceover. Graham Ramage. Top one to one coach, mate. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 you know, I always like to blow smoke, mate. So, he's a man. But two seconds, I'll show you. It's all right. I've got, I'm, mate, this is the thing. Sponsor. I, I don't know why I ever doubt you, mate, because you hold this thing. You're the glue, mate. You hold this thing together, mate. I'll be done. I need to get myself a new notebook. That's my, my notebook just finishing. Oh, listen, I might buy you one, mate, since you've been farming yeah. logs out when I've been there. Uh, I get me a nice one. I've had other ones. Right. Right, okay. mate. Great week again, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Have a good in troops. All the people celebrating, keep celebrating. Everybody look after themselves. We'll catch you next week. And I'm um, way to deal with trouble. See you later. <laughs>